All right, I just wanted to give a update on what's going on in the shop. Uh, so, like I said before, uh, firewalls in. Um, I'm moving on. Get a little tired of doing sheet metal work for a little while, so I moved on to doing uh, some of those front suspension. So this has a Heights Mustang II kit on it, tubular upper and lowers. Um, what I'm doing now is I am I just welded on the uh, the mounts for the sway bar. So there's a sway bar sitting there. Um, so. Uh, I originally had these coated with POR15 and they started flaking off so I started stripping them. Um, and then I just decided, decided to blast them so I'm just going to hold off and blast them when I have some time. Um, but as you can see, these are all welded up now. I did a little bead on the underside and everything to clean them up. Um, so yeah, so these are spring mount lower control arms. I am switching over to coil overs. Um, here are the single adjustable QA ones from here. These are the springs. They sit upside down and up in the pocket like this. Um, so I think, I quickly mocked them up, I think I can use the spring lower control arms with these coil overs without them getting in too much of, a way, of the way. I might need to trim the inside of this lip on the coal bucket, but that's not that big of a deal. Um, sorry, I shouldn't say um. But anyways, so once I blast the lower control arms, I'll paint them, put them back on. They'll be ready to go. Um, the new front brakes I need to order. Those are just, like I said, some cheap drilled and slotted rotors that I picked up years ago. Um, I've already done the extensions on the back of the cross member for the control arms. These are the motor mounts I made. Uh, I still have to drill a hole in the top for the motor mounts, but I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, I am switching from a manual rack to a power rack because I'm assuming at some point in time my wife's going to drive this. We'll see. Yeah. So other than that, I've got got to order the rack. I ordered a bunch of other stuff that goes with the rack, so or the power steering. And uh, I have to get rack extensions because this is uh, the 48 to 52s. You use a, a two-inch rack extension. It goes underneath the uh, <coughs> underneath. Unfortunately, the spare set I have is for the wrong size and pitch of the, uh, the power rack, so I'll deal with that later. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'll clean these up, paint them, put them back on, and they'll, they'll get a final um, torque down at that ride height. Um, I'll get the rack on mounted. I won't plumb that yet until the engine's in, but uh, once I get that in, then I can drill the holes and put the mounts for the for the engine mounts. Now these engine mounts are uh, biscuit mounts. They're uh, one inch tall. This bottom piece goes through the uh, through the plate and this rubber bottom isolator goes on the bottom, this goes on the top. They're an inch tall. Um, I think Speedway sells another set that are inch and a half tall. And then if you want to go out, all out um, and raise it a little higher, the uh, C5 Corvette mounts, they make a stubby mount that's two inches. So that would raise it another inch. Um, but right now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to set it at one inch and see if I have to shim it up because I, I put the oil pan pretty close to where the rack's going to be just so because the engine actually sits back and behind the where the rack is 
um, with the oil pan behind it. And you can see this is where the drain plug was scraping when I was moving it in and out. And so basically the drain plug sits right here between the rack and the cross member. Yeah, it's going to be quite a challenge to change the oil. So I haven't figured that one out yet. So anyways, and then here you can see my little shock setup tools that I made. Um, so it's just a piece of tubing with a, a nut welded on each end. And this has all thread on this end and a shock um, bushing. And this end just has an eyelid and that, that way you can stick it through at the bottom of here and you can adjust it up and down. And I just needed something to set ride height um, just to kind of figure out if this would be where I want it to be so lower control arms are flat. So, we'll see where it goes from there. Um, yeah, what else do I have in the front end here? Um, that's about it for now. So, have one. Good one.